Welcome to Hashtag Wyatt Lit Chat. I'm Sahara with the St. Louis Public Library, and in this chat, we typically talk about fiction and nonfiction young adult novels, as well as juvenile fiction and nonfiction titles for tweens. So make sure you're tuning in each week, every Friday at noon, to hear about your latest new favorite. And if you're back, welcome back. <laughs> Let's get into it. So for today's novel, we have Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the presses. It is Read It Forward month. Read it forward. What does that mean exactly? I'll let you know, yeah. So let's get into all of the Read It Forwardness. <laughs> So what is Read It Forward? Read It Forward is where we bring an author to the St. Louis Public Library and you get to learn about their books, their inspiration, their lives, and we also give you a copy of their book. Now this is really great because you can take it home, you don't have to check it out, and you don't have to bring it back. It is yours to keep. And what we hope is that you read it and you pass it forward, right? Or you could just keep it for your collection. It is up to you and this is available for teens and adults so if you are from the age of 12 to the end of time then you can go to any st louis public library location and pick up this book and then you'll be able to watch this author talk online virtually from november 2nd through the 9th and it will be available at slpl.org. So you just click on it and you can watch it from the comfort of your own home. Yes, this is something that we are doing for you so you can stay safe. And we wanna make sure that we provide you quality service, okay? Yay! So up first we have Felix Ever After, which is gorgeous. Look at this cover, it inspired my look today, okay? I think we're matching. <laughs> so this book is really great. It is about Felix Love, who ironically has never been in love, and he feels over marginalized because he's black, queer, and transgender. So it's a whole mouthful. And then he has to deal with these transphobic messages that are coming from someone he doesn't know who. It's an anonymous person. And they also post his dead name, which is the name before he transitioned, and pictures of before he transitioned, which is not okay to do ever, unless that person decides it's okay. So this is a hashtag on voices story by Kaysen, and I think it's really beautiful to share because there are characters that need to be seen. So someone that is black, that is queer, that is transgender, all in one, really exists. And they go through things like this, where they receive those messages from transphobic people and it's really hard to deal with so to see someone that you can fall in love with and and just be able to experience life with is really nice uh because we don't get these books very often so i'm in love with it ah so great all right let's talk about the next one the second book we have is this is kind of an epic love story and this is where they fall in love and not really because it's about Nathan Bird who is an aspiring screenwriter and he does not believe that the happily ever afters that happen in movies happen in real life and he is struggling to find love so he dates his best friend who becomes his girlfriend who becomes his best friend again and she decides to help him on his love journey and that's when it happens. Oliver James Hernandez comes back into the picture, his childhood best friend, and oh my gosh, you know it's serious because the whole name, Oliver James Hernandez, yes. That means it could be, this could be a kind of epic love story, I think. I think that's where the title comes from. You have to read it to figure it out. But it is so amazing to see young boys falling in love. It's a hashtag own voices story, which is definitely needed in today's world where we need different perspectives, different narratives out there for young people to read. And also me, because I'm, I love it too. So <laughs> this is kind of an epic love story. is a great, short, quick, fun, clean book that you can definitely enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below. What was your first love story? I'd love to hear it. Ah. 
Head on over to slpl.org to keep in touch with our library resources and our catalog. And you can also see when the author video is posted. It's going to be there November 2nd through the 9th. So you can watch it anytime from the comfort of your own home. That's November 2nd through 9th. Okay, make sure you remember it. And you can also pick up the books at your nearest St. Louis Public Library. So you can pick up Felix Ever After and this is kind of an epic love story. Which one will you choose? You don't have to check it out and you don't have to bring it back. It is completely free to you. And you can pass it forward or keep it for your own collection. It is up to you. You just gotta choose. I look forward to seeing you next Friday at noon and I would like to thank Case and Calendar and Balzer and Bray for these amazing books that I love to read. It's something that's definitely needed for times like now just to have a different perspective. Well, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.